Hello, my name is Anticular Pony. Hello, my name is Aquatic Sun. Hello, my name is Farana. Hello, my name is Renge. Hello, I'm Yapsop. And, and, and we're, we're from Team A. Hey, you're listening to the MBS Show. show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 116. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Rommel. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Rom, how are you doing, man? Pumped and ready to rock. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I, I have a bit of bad news for all you Jim Cock fans out there. He seems to be indisposed right now. Thank you, McDonald's. Just thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he he would have been on, but he had to help McDonald's. Yeah, I I know McDonald's is good and all with the ponies, but must you hurt my co-host? Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our guest for this week. Our guest for this week is the amazing Team OK, and members are Anticola Pony, Aquatic Sons, Yapsap, Forana, and Reindeer. Hey guys! Hello. 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 Hey Norman, feeling pretty today? <laughs> uh, this oh, is off to a great start. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna call out um from what I see my Skype picture here is and uh, Forana. Yes. Hey, so that's you. So remember, people, no picture, no nothing for you to guide. So you have to remember their voices and how they sound. Rain gear. Yep. Antikula. Hello there. Yep, sir. Hey. And Aquatic. Aloha. So your guys are from Team OK. So what is Team OK? Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> First of more said, specific? It's, it's just a, basically, we formed it out of a, a group of artists. <laughs> we were just live streaming one day. Hmm. It started on Skype between, I believe, Cap and Rain Gear, And then it sort of evolved from there where we went from like five, six artists to about 32-ish to 40. So, wow. yeah. and it's just a lot. It is like a cluster, no, <laughs> of um, just uh, artists, some musicians tossed in there. We have people that work on technical things. I believe Mart is more yeah. of a technician than anything. So, I mean, it is such a melting pot that we it's become something more than just artists. So, it's really nice, especially since it's so open. Okay, um, I'll go more into that later on when we go to the guest time. But for now, before we start, we need to ask you the most important questions, or the four important questions. And those questions are going to be, well, uh, I'm going to start with Farana first. It's how, what's your favorite character and what's your favorite episode? Well, good question, next question. I would say Derpy, but if that counts. Oh, it counts, it counts. Well, and best episode... I don't really have one. Really? You don't have an episode that you um, like? No, it's just that I don't classify them as best episode. I have episodes I feel like they are fun, and I have episodes I feel like I, they are not fun, and <laughs> more differentiation is not needed. Mm, okay, so, well, if you can decide, there's always the seasons. The same. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just put like it under everything. all and all <laughs> all the ponies indeed every episode mm-hmm. indeed so um for Anna, how did you become a fan of the show uh, my brother told me basically <laughs> he was like he was talking to me and he was like hey watch this show it's basically like spongebob just said the first two episodes have story <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. So nice. Ponies is like Spongebob except he has stories. That's See, that actually agrees with that. <laughs> That's what my brother said. <laughs> wow, alright, alright. So I- I'm going to skip the last question because there's a lot of you guys and we need to rush through every one of them. So uh, thank you, Farana. And Ring Gear, favorite character, favorite episode? Uh, I guess my favorite character is probably Twilight, even though that was kind of a a recent discovery for me, just because I draw her a lot. <laughs> Every single right. piece I draw is Twilight. Uh, favorite episode? Oh, God. I could be totally unoriginal and say the uh, season four finale, oh. just because of the oh. epic fight scene. Can't even... Oh. Oh, that's just good, man. That's just good. 
I, I don't blame you. That that would be my favorite episode too, but I don't remember much of it. <laughs> Shows me what I know. <laughs> and um, what do you, how do you become a fan of the show? Uh, well, I wish I had a really original story, but I'm just like every other person with this. I was on the internet. People were getting really hyped about uh, My Little Pony, and I was really confused by this. So <laughs> I went to go check it out, and I was... I really didn't want to get into it at first. I was very against it, but eventually it kind of caught me. Uh, I, I know the feels. I know the feels. We came in like, hmm, let's judge this show by its own merits. Hmm, it's not bad. Let's see a few more episodes until it got bad. Yeah, Season exactly. four <laughs> still hasn't got bad. <laughs> Damn it, why you do this Just to me? for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I found uh, these ponies. <laughs> so, Antica, uh, favorite character, favorite episode? Favorite character would be Rainbow Gang. Hmm, all right. Ash? Uh, favorite episode uh, would be Party Episode. It's just Pinkie Pie going nuts. <laughs> a party of one going insane. That, that's yeah. just a good one. That's just a good one. So, um, how did you become a fan of the show? Browsing on YouTube one day, and in the recommended sections, I found like this picture of uh, Fluttershy. And I was like, hey, what's this? Click. It was Fluttershy's. Uh, singing the evil enchantress song <laughs> in her man voice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it kind of took off from there. Oh, boys, yeah. I mean, that scene itself is just like, what the? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. So, yeah, uh, favorite character, favorite episode? Uh, since I'm so original, my favorite character is um, Princess Luna. Uh, Luna. Luna. I never Don't heard that why. one before. <laughs> yeah. Pro- Luna Republic Pro- all just... the way. Moonbutt is best pun. Oh, I know uh, you're getting that. I don't know why she appeals to me so much, but probably something to do with me being a gamer and gamer Luna <laughs> and all that. Alright. My favourite episode, though. That's a hard one. Like, they're all amazing. Hmm, if you can't decide on one episode, you could always use multiples, and if you don't know f- for any, you can just say a whole season. Yeah, I really liked season four. I'll just go with that, because it felt kind of, it kind of edged it a wee bit more towards the fan, like the bronies, with all the derpy hmm. and <laughs> Luna singing. <laughs> oh, yeah. With all the derpy. Oh, my God. Call it derpy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the derpy. All the derps. Yeah. Never enough. True that, true that. Uh, season four. Oh, season four is surprisingly good. It's like you don't think that. Oh, how could they improve from season three? Like, ah, uh, season three is just mesh. And wow, season four came out with a bang. Even with all those haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Mm-hmm. So, me. how did you become a fan of the show? Well, I was really into you know Renard's music, oh. uh, like Mayhem and all. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I clicked on. The Living Tombstones uh, Discord remix. Okay. I was like, "What's this about?" Like, I really like the song, so searched up, Dick, and then I watched uh, like halfway through one, like season one, episode fourteen, something like that, mm-hmm. and I just got hooked. I got on the virus <sighs> of the Brony fandom. Yeah. <laughs> it all started off that way, right? Like, well, we decided to redo some research. Uh, research is bad. <laughs> hey, so, I did no research. I blame Tombstone. Uh, <laughs> I blame Fluttershy. <laughs> <laughs> I blame myself. For it was Anna, Nightmare. Can... <laughs> yes? It was Nightmare Night, the episode that I watched first. Oh. Which also probably helped. <laughs> and when did the Lunas? <laughs> uh-huh. and, uh, and Aquatic. Uh, favorite character, uh, yes. favorite episode? Uh, favorite character has to be Applejack. Hands down, she kicks the most flank. Uh, <laughs> favorite episode, I say the season three opening, because I love the interaction between all the characters and that. Ah. It was just so dynamic and well played out. So, kudos to the writers. Awesome, awesome. And if yeah, I remember right, season three opener is... Um, what was it again? I forgot. <laughs> it was when they uh, just had to go to the Crystal Empire. And oh, it. yeah. Even though Sombra was poorly written, I just loved the way they all interacted. It was great. Crystal. <laughs> hey. Construct more pylons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, okay. Well, so, 
how did you become a fan of the show? Um, actually, a little short, funny story with this. Um, I had a friend I used to hang out with constantly at his house, and he would just let me use his computer since it ran faster for making fan art, since I used to do Sonic fan art back in the old days. So you gotta yes. go fast then. Yeah, it's gotta go fast all the time. But, um, so, yeah, so he's like, hey, so my cousin's coming over, and I'd never met his cousin before, but what I heard is he's this big, tough, rapper-esque sort of dude. All right. So, I was like, okay, well, I guess I gotta keep it cool and all that, since I'm not exactly, I, I am pretty, that was pretty scrawny and nerdy at the time, so. Try my best. But he mm-hmm. came over. He was like, yo. I was like, sup. I went <laughs> and signs like I thought it was cool. And he walked by me, and he had this key ring of ponies attached to his belt. All right. And I nudge over to my friend. I'm like, all right, I know I'm into some weird stuff, but what's with the ponies here? He goes, oh, we watched My Little Pony. You didn't know that? I'm like, no, I had no idea. So um, he went in the other room with my friend's little sister, and they were actually trading pony toys. <laughs> and all I heard from the other room was this deep man voice, his little girl voice going back and forth, and it was funny, because he heard the little girl voice like, I'll trade you Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie for Twilight Sparkle, and he's like, I don't know, Twilight Sparkle's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is great, this is funny, and so I looked around and peeked around, and they were actually, they were actually watching the, an episode, and it was when Applejack was overworked, so I just kept watching it from um, the other room, and I was like, you know, this doesn't look too bad, and at the end of that day, uh, my friend's little sister asked me what pony was my favorite, I said, oh, I like Applejack there, and he gave me a little toy of her, Aww. and then as Aww. that proceeded, my friend then forced me to watch all of season one in two days while I was trying to make a Halloween costume. <laughs> so, that's the internet, and you amazing artists is what sparred my love for it. Uh, I, I, I just love the cousin, the cousin is just awesome. <laughs> Uh, and this is why I do this show Just to hear stories like that <laughs> Oh yeah uh, thank, thank you guys you Th- Thank you for sharing those stories And well uh, let's move on to the next topic And the next topic is news time Rommel you want to read this? Now is my time to shine Indeedy Okay, in today's news time, Main 6 gets legit and announced crowdfunding plans. After five months of waiting, the crew that made Finding His Magic have something big to announce. Starting from now, Main 6 has gone legit and has formed a company, now calling themselves Main 6 Incorporated. They are now able to develop their games with a profit and details for the crowdfunding have been revealed. So, yay, links can be found in the show notes. Oh, uh, who's, who... Who is hyped for this? Because I know I, I am hyped. I don't even know how to express this. I am so so waiting for the Fighting Is Magic game. It is going to be built on the Skullgirls engine, and that is one hell of an engine, I'll tell you. Yep, yep. Yeah, I love Skullgirls myself. So. And this, <laughs> okay. and it's like I've been following Fighting Is Magic for quite a long time, and it's been a really long time. And if I get the feeling this is going to be a big bang, what's it going to get out? Mm. I'm just waiting for the day of the release. <laughs> I'm just dreaming about it every morning. <laughs> Checking my internet. Has they released it yet? No. Next morning. Have they released it yet? Ne- no. Next morning. Uh, have they released it yet? Next this morning. This is going to be a long wait, my friend. This is going to be a long mm-hmm. wait, my friend. But, it's going to um, be worth it. Uh, you, you guys, you other guys, what do you think? Like, um, Do I need to go around the table? Or do you or you guys can police yourselves? Um, I think just to like save on time, we'll police ourselves around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just, uh, I think we're all excited for it, really, right? Yeah, I don't know how you can yeah. be. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. I, I don't have a joystick or a controller, so my keyboard is going to die. <laughs> oh, come on, MP. <laughs> yeah, I, I am an intense online gamer, and I actually do a Skullgirls for my PC, which I play religiously. Yay. And so, after this whole fundraiser went through and they had the engine and everything, I am, whew, I am hyped. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, I just can't wait. And NT, you're a Malaysian, right? Yes. You must have played King of Fighters on the PC with the keyboard and stuff. You have to, right? Uh, no, actually, no, I haven't. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, you miss out on that, right? Oh, because yeah, yeah, I missed out. B- that. Back in the days when you want to play the new cough, you had to use the PC and, well, keyboard's there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but seriously, guys, um, this looks awesome and I, I just can't wait. But you have to remember that um, crowdfunding doesn't mean you pay for the game in advance. No, you, you're you just supporting the idea of the game coming out. So yeah, exactly. people who thought that, oh, I paid 30 bucks, I should get the game mm-hmm. free. Mm-hmm. Nope, oh. you have to pay another 30 <laughs> later. Man, I threw all my money at them if I was not at the job. <laughs> uh, it's cool, man. 
But yeah, um, I'm excited because why not? You got the talented Lauren Faust doing the character designs. You got Team Main 6 doing the game. And whoever played the release or leak version should have known that it was really good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. I have to on that. Yay. So anywho, um, let's move on to the next news from... And another news, Free Northwest announces elements of melody, Summer Moon Celebration, and a Pony Musical Video Contest. The time, the wait, is over. The third install, installment of Elements of Harmony has arrived. Come and join a night of fun and music with your favorite pony artists on Friday, June the 13th at the Vera Project. Proceeds benefits Everfree for Northwest 2014. Tickets are $12 in advance, $15 at the door. Doors are open at 7.30 p.m. Show starts at 8 p.m. Get the tickets at etix.com. Talent that will be performing are Tarby, Automatic Jack, Hey Las Fas, Don DeVoe and the Cutie Marks, Maestro Serzo and Brightside, Brony Mike, and DJ Everfree. Feel free to RSVP on meetup.com. Returning to the third year in a row, it's Everfree Northwest Pony Music Video and Pony Video Contest. Do you create or interested in making a pony music video or pony videos? Want to be featured at the Everfree Northwest Convention? Do you want to win fabulous prizes? Then join us for the EFNW PMV Contest. Help us show just how amazing PMV and pony video creators are. Contest rules and links can be found in the show notes. Back to you, Norman. Yay! So, um, thanks to our good friends at Everfree Northwest for sending in this news to me. And yeah, uh, I'm in Malaysia right now and I can't go because of reasons. But oh boy, I want to go. I, I so want to go to this. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you guys want to help them out, really, go to this concert, um, the Summer Moon Celebration. Like they say, all proceeds go to help out uh, every free Northwest 2014. And well, help them out, get good music. Yay. So, win win. Who is in the States right now that could go to this? Because I want to know how. I just want feedback from anyone that's going. Anybody in the call? No? Not me. Nope. Not nope. you, Antic? Oh, sorry, Aquatic? Uh, can't say I am. The only one I planned for was Veronicon. Sorry. Uh, well, yeah. probably locations. You know, you should go to Everfree Northwest because it's fun. Where is it stationed? It's going to be in... Seattle. Yeah, Seattle, uh, Washington. Yep. Oh, that is across the states for me, so... <laughs> can't exactly plan that. Sorry. Uh, it sounds like a great... It'll be a great event, but, you know... Yeah, maybe Money. next time. Oh, pff, yeah. Unless you do a crowdfunding thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, please. Just ship my ass over so I can have fun and, you know, take all your money. No, that, that won't flow well. <laughs> yeah, understandable. But still, but still. Oh, I just wish I could go. But still, but still. Um, To, in, to, to whoever out there has the cash and can go, please go because it's fun. Uh, they're doing a lot of good things, man. They're doing a lot of good things. And this year, they're concentrating on writers. So if you're a writer and interested in, well, hearing writing, go there now. Ooh. Yay. So anywho, um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is guest time. And in today's guest time, we have Team OK. And I guess they're having fun, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Team OK has been great. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Hence the name. Yeah. But we're okay. <laughs> everything's okay. It actually kind of goes with, awesome. the, with what we do. It just makes everything okay. Oh, awesome. Or oh, is it okay? <laughs> so um, we, we did the quick blurb at the beginning, but uh, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? I'm Yapsap. And what do you do, Yapsap? I make music. Oh, really? No. Yes. Uh, what kind of music? Drum and bass, dubstep, something classical, maybe? Um, c- kind of a mix between dubstep and um, techno. Oh, electronic oh, then. Awesome. Yeah, ele- electronic. So, um, if I get this right, um, Team OK is based on artists and like um, talent, like uh, musicians, artists, and even programmers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so basically you're the Brony fandom in a nutshell. More or less. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least the, um, the part that likes to contribute some stuff. 
Mm, okay. And can anyone join the team, or are there are specific requirements, some milestones to pass, tests, uh, trials? As long as you pass really nicely, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah just really, but there is, there the is an inside. There's like an inside way of joining that we just make as a joke where you have to draw the OC. <laughs> but that's not it. <laughs> just yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, for people who might not know, because uh, on the Skype call here, I'm seeing a lot of. The same pony pictures. <laughs> so, um, Jess is the mascot? Yeah. yeah. So, mind describing just to us, or for the people who can't see, maybe I'll just put up a picture right here, right now. But please, um, do describe Well, Jess. Rain and Auntie, take it away. You guys started it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, I guess since we didn't want to do huge group pictures, because we have a lot of members, we decided to make a mascot so that we could sort of collectively draw it over and over and have everyone's different styles pulled together. So uh, I guess, what was it, me, or oh, Ranger, uh, Auntie, and Captain, who isn't here right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah like, we all did it. designs. And yeah, like, we, we all like drew our own versions of Jess, and then we're like, hey, I like the main on that one, I like the colors on that other one, and that's so we mix and match and came up with Jess. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The Skype eyes. Yeah, the Skype eyes. <laughs> okay, what's wrong? What's up with the Skype eyes? The Skype. It's a Skype group, so <laughs> yeah, Skype I mean, group. we, like, we always Skype eyes, why not? Skype. Okay, yeah. wow, that's the first time I've seen or heard a pony with a Skype icon for an eye. <laughs> also, <laughs> especially the summation of all our in jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she has a Cards Against Humanity hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cards in her hat, and that's why her that name is. is a... Jess. Yes. 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 That is. Didn't you say that's how the group kind of started? Was through Cards Against Humanity, just gameplay, and then it just evolved from there into being something actually legitimate. Uh, it started in streams. Yeah. It was a Saturday live stream, and we all, I guess, for some reason, we wanted to talk together. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you know, we do you want to talk? Streaming. Yeah, sure. Fr- yeah. Friends. Yeah. yeah we just- and then we made a group, and then people started joining, and we got confused, and called the team okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess it's okay for you to join. <laughs> and how yeah, long has been team okay rolling? Oh, oh my. I'd say about three months or so already. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That long? <laughs> I know, right? I don't even notice. <laughs> well, you, you guys have been around for three months then. Wow. Um, so, I would have thought that you guys have been rolling for over a year. Uh, yeah, no. And we already have like <laughs> a lot of people in the group. I mean, we just added Mike. I think last night. To Mike the microphone later on. Yeah, yeah, Mike is now in our group. We have I think Forever Free. <laughs> if not, I can, we can toss him in since we oh we met God. over Callisti. And we also have Citra and a few others that are um, just from the great artists who are like, hey, we'll join. And we're like, okay. <laughs> wow, this makes me Sweet. want to join. <laughs> you you can join. It's open to anyone really. <laughs> it's a okay. you. Someone it's should okay. draw a picture of Jess doing that. Yeah, just we want you to be okay. <laughs> oh, yes. I have an idea at some point, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, um, I, I, uh, we'll talk later about me joining in. But we, we'll talk later, we'll talk later. Uh, yes. Yeah, but still, um, uh, hearing you guys start up the group just because, well, of you want to talk to each other and Cards Against Humanity... Wow, you, your backstory is really awesome. So, um, but I, I want to go into individual people. Like, um, Forana, what, what did you do in the fandom? I basically exist. I do a bit of art, but that is like, I do art every eternity or so. I have no idea. I'm not really. <laughs> uh, still, you do. Your, your art from your Skype icon looks pretty awesome. Uh, that's a gift. Hmm. <coughs> Oh my! Alrighty then. But still, but still. So you do your art, and you have a divine art. Yes, I do. So where do you usually post your pictures or your artwork? Is it on the divine arts, the Tumblr, yes. or divine art only? Divine art, yes. Divine art. Auto as said, not really active at all. Ah, okay. How come? Um, I'm. I simply have other stuff that I. Who that I think is more important than doing art constantly. Mm, understandable. Like, Life gets in the enough. way. Yeah. And Rain Gear, what do you do in the fandom? I draw clouds, basically. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> he is yeah. a cloud guy. <laughs> yeah, I am a cloud guy. But yeah, I do art, I guess. A lot of 
painting, landscapes, that kind of thing. So Sweet. background pictures then? Yeah, big large scale backgrounds. Nice thing. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, maybe I've seen your picture pop up on EQD's Draw Friends? Has it? Yeah, I've had a couple headers, which is kind of surreal to me, but uh, yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, your picture looks pretty good, like real good, criminally good. <laughs> criminally. <laughs> Say as if oh, it's yeah. a bad thing. <laughs> how dare you be good? <laughs> yes, how dare you be good? <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, but still um, uh, I, I'll probably link all of your um, DeviantArts uh, in the show notes. But still, um, if I remember right, your picture is good. <laughs> Thank you. So, you, um, me. you so besides the DeviantArt, do you post your art anywhere else, like Tumblr or even Twitter? Uh, I don't have a Tumblr. I can only really keep track of DeviantArt. And then I post some stuff to IMGUR. But that only gets shared in Team OK because it's the stuff that no one should ever have to witness. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> oh, yes. Cough, oh. cough, man, last year. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> That's actually on your TV art, so. Uh, yeah, well, that got man, me. Yeah. Guys, oh. go check it out. <laughs> Yay, show notes. Look at it. <laughs> all right. So, um, Antti, um, your role? Uh, I ride shipping fat. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm off to a great start. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm the same one right now. I, I do art, like draw ponies and stuff. Yeah. So uh, I did see your art during the Callisti live stream and also one of James's um, charity stream, and you draw really good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, um, same thing, um, DeviantArt, nowhere else? Yes, antiquilarpony.deviantart.com. It's usual. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. And, yep, you said that you were a musician, right? Uh, yeah. Um, any place that you post your music at? Uh, YouTube and not really SoundCloud. I might post SoundCloud, but every time I try... SoundCloud just decides to be as derpy as Skype. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, the feels. Derpy Skype. So, you basically do the electronical music and that's about it? No no acoustics, no... Um, I do play bass and not my fingers are too fat for a guitar, to be honest. Uh, I know the feels. So, my fingers are big. I, yeah. I can't hold the strings down real good. <laughs> <laughs> I also play keyboard, but for art, I do do a wee bit of art, but it's not really I like music. I want to get known for music, not art, because mm. most of my art's not that good, because I literally just got a graphics tab a month ago. Ah. So. I mean, um, I'm not good at art, too. My tool of the trade is Illustrator, so that tells a lot of how Illustrator works. But um, besides that, so you do your own cover? Sometimes I might, but I've used Rain Gears, um, Rainbow Dash once, I think, sets their sights ablaze. Thanks for that, Rain. Aww. And mostly I literally just got pictures off Google. <laughs> Google's <laughs> awesome. Yay. Yay. If it's any of your pictures, just say and I'll put it in the description. So oh, nice. Awesome, awesome. So, um, well... I have to say this. I'll be using your tracks for the end team for this show. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Aquatic, your role is artist? Oh, yes. I'm an artist. It's primarily traditional, but I've been trying to get in the digital swing since everyone's doing it. Although oh. I really do love uh, watercolor painting, which is rare. I believe Sophie Cabra and a few others are the only ones that actually do that. But, um, you know, not many people really pay attention to those. So, digital primarily. <laughs> oh, really? No, yeah. because... Um, if you're saying that you start off with uh, traditional, that's pretty awesome because, like you said, no, not much people are doing it. Yeah, I mean, I could, um, I could definitely make it my demon art. I do have a much bigger gallery of traditional than I do digital, but um, it's mostly done with. I've used several pencils. I don't really use anything to blend it, and uh, yeah, to watercolor I use just brushes for. I actually don't use watercolor pencils or any markers, so 
they don't exactly pop as well, but, you know, I started out with it, and I always thought it was relaxing, so, and I figured I'd bring it to the fandom. Wow, because uh, it's rare, and like almost, like, like you said, like not much people are doing it, because you can't control Z. Yes. Yeah, you really can't. I, um, I had to learn a uh, steady hand in the way you have to hold a pencil, and different pressure types and different pencil types and how they work together to make some crazy effects but um there is no magic let's make a new layer let's do this with that layer and let's make it have the highlights no (laughs) i learned all right you gotta lightly brush with the eraser this way and then you hold your pencil that way and you get the lighter shade over it like things like that (laughs) it can get very raw but it's fun Wow, that, that that sounds good and awesome. So basically, you draw by a pencil or whatever, you scan it on and put it, post it out on the internet. Um, yeah, I just linked my demon art in the Skype if you want to afford that. Okay. I'm not sure what the um, interview stream is on, but yeah, um, I just I used to use HB only, like a, your basic number two pencil, just to learn pressure and everything. So most of those are shaded with just HB. But then I've been reaching out for more pencils and charcoal. The later pieces went on, and um. Yeah, it is just straight basic techniques with those and just a bunch of different techniques uh, combined in each piece. That's why it's so hard for me to go to digital since you have all these different tricks and the way you use them. I'm like, uh, where's the pencil? (laughs) This is the first time that I heard someone say, how do digital? (laughs) Usually it's the other way around. How do analog? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, um, I get very confused digital, so. I've still been trying. I have these awesome guys in the team okay to help me out. Oh, that's awesome. So, that's that's awesome. very sweet of them. Uh, yes. I, all I have to say is don't forget how to draw with traditional because traditional looks really good and you should never forget it, man. Oh, no, I, I love it. I'm actually going to go paint on the beach this weekend. Oh, that, that's enjoy cool. the weather. Yeah, it's therapeutic in a way. But no, I, will, I won't forget my traditional roots even if I'm going to college for animation. <laughs> oh, so you're going to college for animation. Yeah, um, animation media will be my major, and I'm going to be heading to North Hollywood soon, so that's going to be exciting. Mm. It's stressful, but I have some good leads on Cartoon Network and a few other places, so take it while I have it, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, good luck, man, good luck, because um, I've talked to Lionheart Cartoon. He's the guy who's responsible for Children of the Night, and he said that doing animation, it's not easy. No, not at all. I mean, I've heard enough from enough animators, and even doing it myself, I play around on CC Pro, I'm like, ah! <laughs> Why crash? Ah! Alrighty then. So, um, besides um, the, your individual work, you guys um, gather around and do a live stream? Um, that became more of a recent thing, thanks oh. to James, since I was talking yeah. about the charity things. I mean, oh. it started off on live stream, but we don't collaborate on live streams until... Um, we went to Callisti, and me and James talked for a bit outside of the Callisti chat, and he said, hey, maybe we should try, and, you know, I should suggest we try to help him raise money by doing a giant collaborative stream similar to Callisti. And he said, oh, that'd be great to help, you know, pay off this debt that I have. And we did just that, and it worked out well, so we're doing one for Blind later today, as you heard, and, yeah, that's, I guess it kind of started recently for the multi-stream thing. Oh, okay, so we, um, I forgot to mention this. James Quirk is also part of the Team OK group. So, um, thanks, McDonald. You you ruined this interview. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, James is also part of the team. So, you're saying that James is responsible for the whole multi-stream charity thing? Yeah. Much. Um, more or less. Like he, um, as I said, I suggested to him to help him with raising money. Since I said, oh, we could all kind of pitch in and help with that. And, uh, you know, after that, he kind of took it, and he was able to get Buck in on it and everyone else. So he um, took a lot more liberties with it than I did. But, yeah, I guess you can say that. Mm, Okay. So how often would you guys be planning to do this? It just depends if something comes up. I'm not really sure if we have a set schedule fleshed out yet. It's only Uh, been three, four weeks. The the kind of uh, final idea was to make this multi-stream, like, every Friday or something like that, but not always have the charity part of it, just to kind of... Hang out? Not miss yeah. all of our viewers. Mm. I think we suggested a few re- request ones to kind of even out the fact that we don't want you to have to feel like you have to pay to just get art from us. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's something a little bit more to giving back to the community that gave to us type of deal. But that still hasn't been even worked out, so... <laughs> 
Well, it, you just started three months ago and this whole live stream thing just started recently. So there's a lot of planning to do. Yeah, it, it's, oh, yeah. it's hectic. I mean, with the test streams and all, we just actually tested the multi-stream thing two, three weeks ago with Sketchy and a few others. So um, we're still trying to get that completely underway. Hmm. So the multi-stream, um, you're saying that uh, there's multiple streams on the picture. So is there any way for people to, well, I say I want to watch Anticular Pony Draw. But is there any way for someone to just click on picture set picture and go to set artist? Yes, I believe uh, the link is embedded from the main one. But I'm not sure. Um, no, no, it's we basically we have a we have a big page where we put all the streams to in one window, and then we restream that basically by someone who has a very powerful computer, who's sketchy, mm. mm-hmm. sketchy sounds. So, so you're basically seeing nine windows at once. But the audio <laughs> is from whatever sketch is on, then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're going to be a Skype call. Ah. It. So, is there any way, like, like, I, like I said before, that like if you, let's say, example, Yapsap is, um, uh, Yap is not on Sketchy stream, he's doing his own thing. And is there any way, can I just see Yapsap? Uh, go to Yapsap stream, of course. Yeah, mm. he, yeah. Had a, he had to link you the stream, but it's not ah. too hard. Okay. So, <laughs> it is possible for me to. Go here and there and just watch Reindeer's point of view or Yapsap's point of view. Okay. Yes. And the yeah. full window, yes. Or if you feel like it, you can of course go to the personal streams, all of it, and watch every person at once. <laughs> yeah. Forget the multi stream. I'll multi stream myself. <laughs> like 18 tabs open. Oh god. Uh, my PC is gonna sure. die. Okay, so. Uh, there's that, so that's a recent thing. And James started off with the whole charity idea. So where do you see Team OK being, like in this grand scheme of live streaming and charity thing? Oh, uh, that's domination. Tough, <laughs> domination. I think I think it's more of just we are riding by the seat of our pants right now. <laughs> Wherever it goes, that's where it yeah. goes. Mm-hmm. I mean, it started off as something yeah. completely different than what it is now if you want to consider what it is now, something legitimate and set in stone. So it's kind of nice to, I guess, just all of us kind of hanging out, experiencing what we're experiencing and taking hits as we go. Hmm. Oh, okay, because, well, uh, maybe I'm over-imagining it because you guys sound so legit. <laughs> <laughs> we're far from that. No, nope. so no. Much um, you, nope. we're just, let's put we're just it this okay. way. We're let's okay. put it this way. You haven't seen us active <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's what makes it kind of nice and welcoming so many people is that we're comfortable casual we don't care as much you know don't think oh they're gonna be high tier snooty artists no it's nothing like that we talk to anyone or willing to stream with anyone or willing to pretty much draw anything for anyone it's it's not like it's you know a bashful type of group that if you're not someone who is horse famous or can offer a lot to us we won't accept you there's no strict standards like that it is like hey you like ponies no way! Come, come in here. We like ponies too. So basically, even a Joe Schmo like him, he can join the group too. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, if they do something on the side, that's awesome. But if they don't, it's not like we're gonna penalize them for it. It's like, oh, you cannot be ponies with us. You are not yeah, yeah. just worthy. You're not worthy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Put it this way: even I am in this group, and I do basically nothing. Yeah, and we love Ferrana to death because he is yeah. adorable. <laughs> hey, adorable. I'm not an adorable. I shoot explosive cookies at people. <laughs> That's adorable. It's better that, than that regular exactly cookies. Point. Wow, so basically anyone can join. That's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think like in the next five years or so we're going to have a group of a thousand or so artists. If we do, I guess that'd be kind of surprising, but I guess it's not <laughs> can you Can you imagine a charity stream with a thousand pages on Oh my on god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My god. That, would be a wor- that would be a world record there. Oh, oh, my this computer would explode. Uh, <laughs> not only you'd have, get, you'd have to get 27 computers to... <laughs> And no, then just kind of like work it all at once with like his nine keyboards. <laughs> no, it'll be something like uh, DC when they reboot their universe. They have to have tears. 
Uh, here's Team OKB. Oh, here's Team OK from World 2. Yay! <laughs> what does it all mean? I got no idea. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, really welcoming. Pretty casual. Much love. Oh, just, Such chats. It's just a group of friends. So, Don't basically, yeah, friends. Ah, yeah. so basically yeah. Team OK is just a group of goobers having fun and doing art and stuff. Basically. Stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't see us jump into infamy anytime soon or running our own panel or booth. But if that ever comes up, I guess I won't be surprised with where this has kind of been going. Well, like I guess I'm impressed that we that with what you guys have been doing and how long have you um, been on? Like you said, three months, and you already got then James on, and also you got Chucky BB. If I'm not mistaken, he's also in the group, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We talk to him often. So like, like I said, wow, just wow all around. You guys are up and coming and pff, I can see much. Yeah, and what's good is like, even though you may think, oh, those are big names. Oh my God, they do so much. Yeah, they do. But I mean, really, we're just people. We're all just people. It's not like there's anyone who is better than anyone else because of what they do or because they may think that they've contributed more. Everyone contributes in their own small way, which I guess is something nice that I guess all the team can subconsciously recognize is like, hey, you know, as long as he's a part of this, he's a part of this. Nothing, no strings attached. Nothing like that. He doesn't feel like he needs to do more. He doesn't feel like he needs to be as great as these guys or own up to anything. Mm, so basically, you guys just hang out and help each other with stuff. Like, oh, I can't draw. I'll teach you how to draw then. Something like that? Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. basically. yeah, like, once I was like, I want to draw smoke. How do I draw smoke? And then someone I don't remember who drew, t- took my sketch and drew smoke of it and then I tried to uh, do it. You guys sound like... Fun. Now, I, now I really want to be on the team. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you a request. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. I'll add you later. <laughs> we, need, we need more friends, so. Okay. Add me and then as well. Yay. Oh, yeah, we'll add you too. So, um, okay, I remember a while back uh, during uh, James' stream that you guys posted some the Ten Commandment of Team OK. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The not-to-do list. Yeah, the yeah, not-to-do not list. Yeah. So um, what is that not-to-do list? And is it uh, mandatory to re- remember them? Yes. 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 It was made as a joke between me and Captain at the start. Like, yeah, we should have a to-do list now. We, we're not that productive, so we had a not-to-do list. <laughs> with all the productive stuff that we could have done, that would be good, but we put it on the not-to-do list. Okay. Yeah. So, um, mind sharing it? Share. Uh, it'll be funny, because I, 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 I think I'm guilty of one of them. Yeah. I think we're all guilty of doing things that we yes. really could have done. In this couple there we go. Uh, so, okay, uh... Let me see here. Okay, um, rule one: uh, a grand collab. Yeah, uh, I remember that picture, and it do- it did not turn out well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Create a podcast. A special time. Yeah, number two: create a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm guilty of that one already. <laughs> Rain gear, getting a tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not going to happen, I feel. Never going to happen. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know why, but it's never going to happen. <laughs> Number four, potato. Number no five, Rain Gear getting a derby. <laughs> 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 it seems Something to be rough me. around Rain Gear then. Yeah. Rain Gear just a lot of stuff you really should. Mm. <laughs> or should do. Number six, have a reason to stream. <laughs> uh, you guys are guilty of that one too. Yeah. Number seven, to make sense. P.S. Life is not like ghost. <laughs> ghost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. And number number eight, to make sense. <laughs> uh, okay, that's twice. Alrighty then. Number nine, to uh, put something better here. Wait. Number ten, number. make a to do list. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. and we'll we'll grad- gradually add to this list as we make stuff up. Like, mm-hmm. You can see the seriousness of this group right now. Yeah. Yeah. We are like so serious right now. We're so, so legit, legit guys. guys. <laughs> legit. We are. We are too horse famous for those who are horse famous already. <laughs> Little <laughs> class of potato. Potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> but still, uh, <laughs> that that is uh, that is the tone that you're going for. It's like. Yeah, we're just a bunch of Google having fun. 
pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, cool, cool. Well, um, wh- whoever out there is interested in joining, I'll put in everything into the show notes because, you know, they're just fun. They're, they're just a f- fun. Like, you can talk to the five that are here right now or you could talk to anyone else because it's just fun. Like, number two, create a podcast. I'm already doing it now. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, the name. Yes, yeah. you're on the beginning steps of becoming semi-productive. Uh, trust me, this is the only thing I do. You guys do art, I do podcast, <laughs> and I got the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. It's like yeah. the most important thing on the list. Okay then. <laughs> uh, so, um, is there anything else you want to add, guys? How about so cookies? Could- Oh, cookies. Yeah, so exploding cookies. Well, I mean, other than that, is there anything else you want to ask us that you just were wondering about? Even though you yeah. probably got the gist of the group by now. Yeah, I, I'm getting the gist the of the group. So um, the gist of the group. Oh, there you go. The oh no! Uh, oh my puns. god! Do, do I have to mention the bad puns? Yes. Oh, god. <laughs> the bad pun counter. Oh god! <laughs> How many puns were there? Over thirty, I think. Thirty-two ish by the end of the night. This was oh, yeah, for yeah. James's stream or Callisti? Callisti. Uh, uh, no, no, Callisti was 30, 30, 36. I made sure of that. A 36, okay. <laughs> Still over 30. <laughs> like, oh. 8 or 9 of which are mine. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, thank oh, goodness. That was one crazy night, I'll tell you that. Thank oh, goodness yes. that I'm not hearing any more puns right now, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I love you the puns. I can't take a punchline. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. <laughs> I started. You don't know what you awoken. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just so Oh, ponder me. <laughs> oh, punch me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah. uh, I think I, I think that's uh, most of the question that I have right now because I can't think of anything that I need to ask because you guys are just having fun and Team OK sounds like a fun group to be in. That's okay. <laughs> it's yeah, okay. we, have our, we have our legitimate moments where we're like okay let's do this but then we have our other moments where like every little thing is gonna be okay <laughs> and Jess lost a hat <laughs> that's how it always is awesome 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 so before we move on is um, how can the people hearing this find you guys Actually, we do have a DeviantArt group that uh, Main Main Six Swag, one of our members, just made. If you join that, and then if you want to just message one of us on the team and friend us on Skype, we can easily toss you right into our little happy group. So, I'm sure if you yep. like, if you want to be like, oh, Rain's friend on Skype, Auntie's me, Main Six, Ferana's, just ask us personally on DeviantArt. I'm sure we all have an account on there, or ask the main group and just say, hey. You know, I want to be a part of it. Here's my Skype. One of the members will probably friend you, and we can just toss you right in if we're going to make a system out of this. Awesome, so. awesome. So and we do chat regularly, like daily. I think someone decides to just start talking with someone else, and everyone just joins in in a giant cluster of Jesses. <laughs> so it, there's a lot of entertainment to be had, even if we're not actively streaming. So don't think you're just going to be in the group and be like, hey, what, what, what the flank, guys? Nothing's going on. This is boring. And- then something is going on. <laughs> yeah, something is going on, so please don't get that impression. <laughs> yeah, life gets in the way sometimes, and not people get busy. Uh, understandable, understandable. I once yeah. had a life. It was terrible. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, to find you guys as a cluster, it's in teamok.dvnr.com. But any individual places? Actually, we should have a we should have a full list of everyone in Team OK in the show notes. Yeah, let's let's try to like put that down. Yeah, the entire list. We have uh, only three. Press number ten, make a to do list. <laughs> we should add number eleven, make a friends list. <laughs> How many people do we have? Uh, uh, thirty ish, I believe. Oh my! Yeah, about thirty. <clears throat> Okay, well, I, I'll put everything in the show notes because that's what I do. <laughs> show notes. <laughs> Judging from the current progress, it won't be long until we see over 9,000 members here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. got you on the puns now. More puns. <laughs> I won't be surprised if they actually do break that milestone very soon. Oh, uh, <laughs> boy. You just need a little bit of advertisement and your guys are good to go. <laughs> true, true. <clears throat> Especially since it's such a lax group. Oh, man. 
imagine how much traffic is going through that. We'll have to make a team, okay? You're right. We'll have to make like groups or classes, regiments. Like here, Division. here, part regiment Legions. squad twelve alpha B. <laughs> go to this group. <laughs> like I said, you're with T nine. Go with the Bravo squad over in this chat room. <laughs> okay, this is going to be insane, but uh... it's gonna be. It isn't already. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! What have I gotten myself into? Wait till it kicks into the I have no head. idea. <laughs> It'll all be okay. <laughs> Yay, yes. This is no wait, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> but anywho, thank you guys for being on and sharing your stories and promoting Team OK. Um, Team OK sounds like an OK group to join. Is it OK? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Okay. So awesome, awesome. So, anywho, um, thank you for being on, and um, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shout outs, and my shout out goes to you guys for our rain gear, in particular, Yap Sap and Aquatic. <laughs> thank you for being on and sharing your stories and just talking about Team OK. I'm not here? responsible for any casualties that happen <laughs> during the stream, even if it may by. seem like it. <laughs> yeah, he's blaming him for the exploding cookies and nothing else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cookies. Cookies are fun. Cookie, cookie, cookies. Yeah, mm. ex- especially explosive cookies. Uh, it's so fun to be shot at people. <laughs> oh my God. You have no idea. They have an explosive flavor. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Right. You guys got me on it, too. Dang it. <laughs> this, is, this is happening, I guess. Uh, I want nuclear cookies. <laughs> nah. um, I'm working on that type, but it's really hard to keep them stable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. And thank oh, you. You have, to, you have to bake them at 200 Celsius for <laughs> 11 minutes. That's how to keep nuclear cookies stable. <laughs> oh. I have perfected this in my underground lab in Soviet Russia. <laughs> Yay. Where you don't eat cookies, but cookies eat you. <laughs> in Soviet Russia, <laughs> you know eat cookies. Cookie oh, God. Eat you. Oh, boy. Does that explode? Making these jokes now. This is but a taste of what actually happens in the Skype group. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't it go all like out of here. But you can see Skype, Braille just about anything. Yeah, we have Pika PD, Blind, and Dark, and everyone is kind of going at it. And we go rounds, and we're not too worried about the content of what's being said. It's It can be interesting. Interesting. It's already interesting. interesting. Good it's already interesting now. <laughs> oh, you, you need to join us then. Awesome. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Is futile. And Rom, uh, thank you for being on, man. Thank you for backing me up. <laughs> pleasure, my pleasure. And Rom, your shoutouts. My shoutouts to all the team. Okay, guys, it's been an honor here, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Gracias. Thank you. Mm. And guys, um, I'm, I'm going to start with Forana. Forana, shout out. Uh, cookies. <laughs> 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 shout out to cookies. Awesome. Ringia? Uh, shout out to Blind. I guess by the time this airs, uh, his stream will be over, but his uh, charity stream is going up later today. Yeah. So, yeah. Can people still donate if they hear this on a later date? Uh, yes. yes, he has a Patreon, Jeez. which you can uh, donate to. Awesome. You can get some of his work. Awesome, I'll link that in the show notes too. And Antikola? Pretty much the same, really. Shoutouts to everyone in Team OK. Shoutouts to Blind Coyote, because he really needs the help right now. Go, go send him your monies, <laughs> send him your bits. Yay, every, every bit helps. Mm-hmm. And yep. Uh... Shout out to Team OK, but especially Captain from making me OK by letting me join this group on his stream. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> shout out to my mommy. Yay. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, mom. I, I should shout out to my mom, too. I'll maybe later on. <laughs> so, uh, uh, aquatic. Well, first I'd like to say thank you to the Academy for giving me this wonderful award to throw upon my beautiful... No. <laughs> no. Oh, God. And all seriousness, I will say Blind needs that Manny. So if you can give him your Mannies, please do. Because he is going through a desperate time right now. Mm. And he could really use the Academy's support. 
Yeah. They kind of. And uh, other than that, sure, sure. Let's let's, let's let's sing mom here. Let's yeah, go moms. You know, it's that nine months of pain was worth it. I guess I'm not even sure. But we'll see when I get older. Maybe maybe I'll make the next explosive cookie model, and we can win the wars in the future against the aliens. But hey, that's that's, that's my job. Verona, you can you can no, you can be the main on the job. project. I will be your assistant as long as I can wear giant nerd glasses with tape. That's my only request. That's my dying request. Please make it happen. I want a lab coat. <laughs> the Make a Brony Foundation. I would like to be a cookie scientist that makes the first explosive cookie, preferably with tape on the glasses. But yeah, other than that, um, yes, please help Blind. He desperately needs some help. So even if you're seeing this after the stream is aired, go Santa Manny's. Mm, he has a Patreon yeah. account, so you can do it there too. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at nbshow at gmail.com. If you'd like to contact us individually, well, links are in the show notes. You can also reach out to Twitter page. Yes, we have the Twitters. You can contact Sweetie about at the MBS show. She'll tweet about James not being on the show and how McDonald's sucks. <laughs> and also me. <laughs> you can contact me at Norman Sanzo. I'll tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And Rom, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at RomeyWallZ69 and on my Tumblr, askjitterylines.tumblr.com. Awesome, awesome. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romeyall. I'm Yapsup. I am Ringu. Uh, I'm Farano. I'm a Tickler Pony. I am Aquatic Sun. I should have blessed this out better. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really, what's ending? That came out now. Wow, okay. And we'll, uh, we'll see. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, that's a group name. <laughs> yeah, everything's going to be okay. Exploding cookies and ambulance. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You mentioned before um, you're an electronic music artist, so the dubsteps and uh, NT. <laughs> That's pretty loud. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like you're jumping in Mario. <laughs> get, get those Goombas. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Uh, it's, 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 it's undoing. It's undoing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, like I was saying, uh,